Today, we find out if 2021 tins can beat 2022 tins. So for today's giveaway, we have a Goatee of the Deep Beyond from Power of the Elements. To win this, all you have to do is like the video, leave a comment, and be subscribed, and you might have a chance. All right, so we are gonna hopscotch between these tins. From the 2021 tins, we are looking for Triple Tactics Talent, that is the um, most valuable, and then Divine Arsenal, AA Zeus, Sky Thunder, and Crossout Designator with Nadir Servant. So let's try to get one of those. We're gonna start with Ibisella Lutia, the hardest one to say, Melfi Tag, Resonator Command, Goki, the Power Load Ogre, Torpedo Takedown, Penguin Brave, Ad Emancipator Analyzer, Lingaribo, Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao for our Prismatic, and then Burning Draw, Ignister, AI Land, with Raider's Wing, Wind Pegasus, Rookie for Hire, Lifeless Leafish, Infernity Doom, Deep Sea Artisan, and Link Burst. So we're just going to go one ten at a time, three packs here, three packs there. Next we got Melfi Mommy with Proxy F Magician, Ret Time, Arc Jet, Change into a Dark World, Melfi Hide and Seek with an Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon, Heavy Forward with a Raviel Lord of Phantasms, Shimmering Scraper for the Prismatic, and then Nadir Servant, there we go. That is a good value card pulled for the 2021 10s. Then we got Tri Brigade Nerval with Gaia, Gachiri, Witchcrafter, <laughs> Ad Emancipator, Blizzard, and Rock Band with Horn of Oliphant. So, last pack in this tin. I do want to bring up it's been 24 hours since I did the structure deck video where I said that structure deck is going for $8 and like 96 cents or 86, something like that. It has jumped 37% in value and is now at the cheapest selling for $11.97. It is crazy. But we got Infernoble Arms, Ad Emancipator Relief, Cross Sheep for a Prismatic, with Fallen of Albaz, not bad, and Tri Brigade Cross, with Virtual World, Magellanica, <laughs> Witchcrafter, Drill Driver, Ravenous, Rock Band, and Jacko Balan. All right, let's hop into the 2022 tens. This is what's hot for me right now. I know I'm late to the party, but I absolutely love opening this. And I promise I'll take at least a two video break after this one. We have Ad Libdom, uh, Hidden Springs, Armed Dragon, Metal Foes Vanisher, Ida, Sacred Tree Beast, Magicky Spirit, Radiant Varescence, Blue Wanderers and Impen, Lena the Light Charmer, Zexal Construction, and Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. So, not a bad pull. I can't remember if we've already pulled her though. Then we have Angel Statue, Stay Sailor, Despian, Bee Trooper, Dino Wrestler, and Mystical Beast of the Forest. I am still showing the commons purely because we still need commons. I'm still keeping track of everything. I think we need 10 more commons, and when I pull it, I want to be able to show it. We have Ad Libdom, Libitum, Parametal Foes Azortless, Tears of the Underroot. Icy Breeze Refrain, Magic Unlocking, Stellar Wind Wolf Riot. We have Heavy Metal Foes, something, I couldn't read it. Slower Swallow, Magical Cylinders, The Break and Ruin God, Stardust Synchron with a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. I think we, yeah, we already pulled this one, but we will take number two. Uh, 2022 tens are taking the lead with Undaunted, Despian, Gizmek, Judgment of the Branded, and B Trooper Sting Lancer. Last pack in the first 2022 10, and I think it's got the lead. We have Wind Witch, Magnificent, Steel Star, Ice Jade Acti, Ida the Sun Magician, Blue Wanderers, Judge of the Ice Barrier, Binary Blader, Son of Alon Daphne, All Vain the Essence of Vanity, Dark Eye Nightmare with Dual Tower. Interesting. And then we have Brave Drive, Bazoozle, uh, Bee Trooper, Gizmek, Branded in High Spirits, and Gunkin Sushi. Alright, back to the 2021 10s. Can it pull out a big pool here? <laughs> we got Melfi Playhouse, Goki, AI's Ritual, Awakening, Dice Dice, Obsessive, Drytron Delta, Altace, Titan Cider, with the Virtual World Hime, which we have plenty of, with the Mahama. And virtual world Kieran and uh, 
yeah, nothing too great there. We got Kujikiri, Lifeless, Tri Brigade, Trans Cicada, and Execution of the Contract. Now, for the 2021 tents, we still do need more cards. Um, it's not many. I think it's like 15. So, I will update those stats. And hopefully, we're getting closer to set complete. We have Raiders, uh, Abyssila, <laughs> Dark Templar, Awakening, Disposable, Melfi Hide and Seek, Noctavision Dragon, Drytron Gamma with the Adamancipator signs for the Prismatic. With Divine Arsenal AA Zoo Sky Thunder. The Ultras are pulling through right now. That is amazing. So we have two of the four top most valuable cards. I don't know if that made sense. But 2021 10s are holding their own. So let's get into this last pack. Let's see what it's got. Infernoble Knight. Proxy F. Rat Time. T-A-I Strike. Melfi Puppy, Obsessive Uvalu. We got Gizmek, Infernoble Knight, Captain Roland, with Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. AI Contact with the Triple Tactics Talent. Are you serious? So we got the most valuable card in the set. And we also have, basically all we need is a cross out designator. And we have the top four most valuable cards in the 2021 10s. They are putting up a great fight. We're going to need to pull some heat out of the 2022 tens. And this is its time to shine. We just got the AA Zeus and Triple Tactics out of the middle 10. Let's see what this 10 can give us. We have Magic E Mech Mortar, Expendable Day, Terrors of the Underroot, Ida, Flu Wonder Ease, Sacred Scrolls, Goki Finishing Move, Flu Wonder Ease and Stree with a Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Rebuild Deer, and Albion. I think it's the third time we pulled him. And then the Fabled Abonk, Fabled uh, Life Twin, Magic E Battle, B Trooper, and B Trooper Formation. So, nothing crazy there. Let's see if we can go uh, back to back with these last two packs. Here we go Tri Brigade, Rendezvous, Guitar Gennards, Cordius, uh, Armed Dragon, Lightning, You and I, Flying Red Carp, Magic E World, Paleozoic, ZS, Armed Sage. Contract with the Abyss, the True Sun God, and Tri Brigade Kit. Are these ratios tough or what? White Baking, Arm Dragon, Despian, Gizmek. Oh, we got some bad print lines on these. And Knight Sword Serpent. All right, into the last pack. We are not having much luck on diversity as far as prismatics go. We have Gunkin Suship, Zexal Alliance, Steel Star, B Trooper. Rocket Caliber, Aeropix 3, Proof of Proofless, Masquerade, The Blazing Dragon, Dan Mari, The Breaking Ruin God, War Rock Skyler, and Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That is, we need something new. <laughs> we got Magic E, Mafti, Bujin, V Trooper, Trickster, and Converging Wills with Branded and High Spirits. All right, and to the last 10 of 2021, we are trying to hit a four-peat here. All we need is Cross Out Designator, and we have wiped the top four cards off that list. We have Curse of Dragon, Fury, Melfi Caddy, Arc Jet, TAI Strike, Gluttonous, Heavy Forward, Admancipator, Virtual World Roshi with the Archosaur, and True Light. Not in this one. With Brigand, Dogmatica Encounter, Melfi Pony, Wind Pegasus, Infernity Doom, AI's Shadow, and Deep Sea Artisan. I'm hoping we do it. I want 2021 to win here. Just to show how ridiculous these ratios have gotten in the 2022 10s. We have Squeak Knight, Little Damage, Dogmaticism, uh, Indulged, Disposable, Goki, Deep Sea Minstrel, Infernoble Arms, Fiendish Portrait, Shadal Schism with Burning Draw and Igniter AI Land, Raider's Wing, Rookie for Hire, Lifeless Leafish, got something <laughs> Crimson, Capricious, and Flourishing Frolic. Alright, come on 2021, give us the cross out. Or we can double up on the triple tactics, that would be equally as crazy. We have Mutually Affured Destruction, Melfi Playhouse. That one, <laughs> Deep Sea Minstrel, Ad Emancipator, Raid Raptors, Performable Turn Trooper, The Phantom Knights of Stained Greaves, Tri Brigade, The Baron Blossom, with Reach It All Windy, and oh, Ad Emancipator Risen, with Union Driver, Redeemable Jar, 
Dropper, Magellanica, Jack in the Hand, Infernoble Knight, and Linker Bell to wrap it up. That is insane. Into the last pack of the 2022 10s, we already pulled three of the four most valuable cards in the 2021 10. And we are nowhere close to pulling anything amazing in the 2022 10s quite yet. We got Dark Honest, Flu Wonder Reason Token, with ZS Ascended Sage, and Sunvine Sewing, Gonkin, Materiactor, Wind Witch Blizzard Bell, Branded in High Spirits, and Anchimo Fright. That is crazy. I've opened probably what, three cases of 2021 10s, and it's not that difficult to pull the top cards. But then again, they don't have quite as much value as the 2022 10s, kinda it's hard to tell. We got Magic E, Tri Brigade, Steel Star, Expendable Day, Stellar Wind, Arrow Picks 3, Ultimate Flagship, Nothing New, Magical Cylinder, Machina, Ruin Force, with a Mimicking Maneater Bug, Rebuild Deer, looks familiar, and I'm gonna say Tri, tri Brigade Kit. No, we've already got this one too, it's insane! Pazuzel, Fabled, Albion, B Trooper, Son of Elan, B Trooper, that is absolutely insane. I feel like we have pulled the same six prismatic cards over and over again and we only have three more tens left in this case okay last pack didn't kiss it doubt it'll help tri brigade rendezvous thespian comedy yamori mori cordius stellar arrow picks three ultimate dragonic utopia ray paleozoic blue wonder reason stree arm dragon thunder level 10 mimicking man eater bug for the third time tonight and Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, one of the six. <laughs> and then we got Stay Sailor, Pazuzel, Wind Witch Chimes, Gizmek, Anchimophrite, and Converging Wills Dragon. Well, I think it is safe to say 2021 10s are much better than the 2022 10s. I want to give a huge shout out to your move for being a patron and supporting the channel. And make sure y'all check out the links above to see my other videos.